you know, if you can somehow tie the curriculum into what they like, you know, in an appropriate way, then go for it because I just think that the most, you get the most, uh, you get the most out of them. You get the most effort out of them, you get the most improvement in their, in their performance. Four-time MVP winner and new Denver Bronco, Peyton Manning, is throwing footballs at a bullseye target for accuracy. The red portion makes up five eighths of the target. What percent of the target is white? Go ahead, you have two minutes. For math teacher Brian Corcoran, finding out what excites students at Uptown Complex was as simple as asking them. In the beginning of the year, I always have the students do like a student interest survey. And every year, like clockwork, the boys, it's football, 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 football. So I have to do something football related. That something is the Math Bowl, a learning game in which students compete to solve various football related math problems. It's, an, it's a football themed math event and the students have to basically draw from all the knowledge they've learned in class and answer questions based on the four major benchmarks that we use in our curriculum. Number sense and operations, probability data analysis, geometry measurement, and patterns in algebra. Based on the information in the circle graph, how many students pick the Jets? The game itself is fairly simple. Teams are given a problem and an amount of time in which to solve it. Correct answers earn yards that advance teams' helmets down the playing field. The team with the highest score at the end of the game earns the title of Math Bowl champion and the belt that comes with it. So we definitely create a buzz for the game and, you know, they get to play for the belt. They'll have that display in their home room for the rest of the year, you know, just bragging rights. Each of the three sixth grade homerooms at Uptown fields a team of six students who earn the right to represent their class based on grades and behavior. These type of events clearly get students motivated. The students look forward to participating in them. So when they're talking about math inside and outside the classroom, you know it's gonna impact their achievement. Overwhelming majority of the audience is saying it's A, a rotation of 180 degrees. Let's see what the team said. During the contest, the audience also participates by answering some of the questions using an audience response system. Because we want to have everybody involved, we want everybody working. It's, it's one of those things where it's, an, it's not just an assembly, you come watch, you hang out, and you, you cheer your friends. I told the kids, I said, this is a working assembly, you're coming to work, you're bringing pencils, calculators, and I'm going to give you a clicker. And they can help impact the game, so every time there was a clicker question, if the audience had more than 50% correct, I gave each team a bonus 20 yards. Like the NFL Super Bowl, the Math Bowl wasn't always the flashy spectacle you see today. It had humble beginnings as a classroom exercise. I was an inclusion teacher, I came in and I ran it as part of a math center and we started the questions on just simple index cards. And then Joe Bokniak is my tech coordinator. It was his idea to say, hey, let's, let's make an assembly out of this, this is really good. Let's, let's get more people involved and you know, really make a cool little display and make it seem like they're almost in a video game. Since all of the questions in the Math Bowl are designed around core curriculum content standards, the game is also practiced for the NJ Ask, the statewide assessment that measures student attainment of those standards. Doing this has improved some of the kids' memories because they, um, they have the things in the Math Bowl, like the, the, maybe it was an image of Peyton Manning that went with a specific ratio proportion question. And the kids, when they take the test later, they, they think back of, Peyton Manning or maybe the song that was playing with it, something triggers their mind that says, oh yeah, that's racial proportion. Oh, I need to do this step. I think education should be fun because the kids need fun as part of their life. It's not, if you think that math is a very rigid something or other and people sometimes just don't get into it and they just get afraid of it. And I think that this knocks down the fear factor and uh, then they can enjoy it and see it in real life. It's fun for them. The 2012 Math Bowl was a tight contest, but the Saints pulled ahead near the end to defeat the Patriots and Eagles by a final score of 45 to 35 to 28. You know, I, it's fun to be competitive, and I, and I, may, and I create that competitive atmosphere, and I, I kind of like, oh, you know, you, you guys want to win, you want to win. Frankly, I don't care who wins the game. I just want them to, to leave learning something they didn't know before. If they can take something from it, like, all right, now I know how to answer that question. Now I know how to solve compound probability or how to solve that one-step equation that I didn't know before, you know. It's just to get them excited.